In late 2019, the Kent Battle of Britain Museum of Hawkins were very lucky to acquire a Heinkel 111 H16 uh, former Luftwaffe bomber. Um, at that time, we were contacted by um, a complete stranger at the time. He's come a good friend of the museum and volunteer, and very key volunteer, is Anthony Austin. Anthony had always had the ambition of actually building a Heinkel nose section in his garage, much to the horror, I think, of his wife. I think she's probably more pleased than he is that he actually found that just down the road from Asher where he lives that the museum had acquired a Heinkel um, and joined the volunteers. He's a regular site around the museum at the weekend, usually down here one day a week or one morning a week. Um, but not only that, he's outside of his volunteering in the museum at home, he's actually been building bits and pieces for the aircraft that we require. Um, over the last year, he's been actually researching and now produced the first of eight bomb boxes. Um, when we acquired the Heinkel, the, the bomb bay area is actually empty um, and there's very few bomb boxes that survive anywhere in the world. So Ant's traced most of those surviving ones, got the measurements, as many photographs as possible, and very cleverly he's actually reconstructed a one-to-one -one exact replica of a Heinkel bomb box. This is the first of eight that he's building. I should say actually the first of nine. This is actually the display one that goes with the selection of German bombs that we dropped on Britain in 1940. The other eight that he's currently producing will actually be refitted into the Heinkel. We're also very lucky that Martin Riley, a long-term friend of mine in the museum, um, built for us the tail fins of eight 250 kilo bombs. We've got an example just in front of us here. And once these are installed in the aircraft, the bomb fins will also be installed. We may possibly cast out a fiberglass and nose in the bombs, but all appearances from outside of the aircraft when the bomb box is fitted, it will look like it's carrying its eight 250 kilo bombs which was one of the, the standard bomb loads that a high court carried during the summer of 1940 during the Battle of Britain.